Hello, as you can see, I'm at, not at my house, I'm at my son's house. And I'm gonna do a quick DIY. I'm gonna make two things. I'm gonna make cauliflower, baked cauliflower in breadcrumbs and spaghetti squash. April said to cook this up. So you just take, you have cauliflower, one egg, breadcrumbs and cornstarch. I'm gonna put this, cover it with water. Boil, when it comes to a boil, boil it for five minutes. While you're waiting for that, beat an egg up and mix some breadcrumbs with parmesan i mean with uh yeah parmesan okay now drain them and just let these cool so we can handle them and and it's three eggs i said one egg three eggs mix those up and then parmesan cheese and some breadcrumbs about a half a cup of each you're going to dip them. Oh, and then cornstarch or tapioca starch, but I don't have that. So, oh, and put in some garlic too in here. Mix that in and Parmesan. I haven't found any yet. Somebody else's house. It's hard to find if I can't find it. I meant paprika. Okay, I've got paprika, garlic, and I'll put those in here, about a half a teaspoon, a, a teaspoon of each. In here I have paprika, breadcrumbs, uh, minced onion. I couldn't find onion powder. Not, I said garlic, but it's onion. And some salt and pepper. And we'll mix that all together. And then we'll do the egg. So we'll dip it in the cornstarch first. I'll get a bowl for that. Let's see if I can find one. Somebody else's house, it's a, a little bit harder. Harder to find things. Okay, made a bit of a mess. But that's all right. I've got another one in the oven. Oh dear. All righty. So this is the order we will put them in. Okay, the cornstarch. The egg and then this, the bread mixer, mixture. Oh, and put in some olive oil, about two tablespoons. It took me a while to find it. I've got the olive oil. Let's put it in there. And mix, mix that in there. There we go. I think we got everything in there. Now I've got them in order that I want them to be. Oh, and I put in Italian seasoning. But Hopefully I got everything in there. It's hard to find everything. Okay, now you take your cauliflower, dip it in the starch, the egg, and then they call this panko, the bread crumbs. Kind of press it on there. Okay, and Just repeat till your whole tray is filled up. Okay, press that, press that on there. And I do the snappy fingers, but they're too dirty. So I'll come back when this is all done. Preheat your oven to 350. And okay, the bigger, the bigger chunks I was able to hand dip, but these little teeny pieces, I just mixed everything in there, but they'll still be good. Bake for 15 minutes. To put those in the oven for 15 minutes as soon as it heats up. And the this is a small zucchini squash. Uh, we're going to have this with with our cauliflower. Um, cut your ends off, and you're going to cut the spaghetti squash this way, not this way. And you'll see how cute this will be to cut them in about half inch slices okay yeah cut them lengthwise like this now cut those seeds out all right see i've got the centers out and then i'm going to put those on a cookie sheet drizzle some olive oil on them and a little bit of salt looks like the oven has heated up 
Okay. Let's put you in for 15 minutes. Yeah, got them all set on there and just put some olive oil on there. And then I've got found this real salt. Let's put some of that on there, kind of like a rock salt. That'll be good. And if you want, put a little bit of pepper on there. And you bake that at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes. As soon as those um, cauliflowers come out, then we'll be ready, ready for this one. And with, with this spaghetti squash, when it's done, we'll be able to twist it and make new noodles. And the kids are going to want a sauce, and I don't like the bot sauce, so I'm going to cook up some turkey meat. And I don't have my tomatoes here, but this works just as good to do diced tomatoes. So after I cook this up, then I will, um, then I will put this in some brown sugar, uh, about a tablespoon of brown sugar, a little bit of salt, and some oregano. Let's pour the diced tomatoes in. And that looks good. This is just as good as my mine that I make with my frozen tomatoes. Okay. Now. These are finished. Let's go make a good meal. Take these out. Put these in. 400 degrees for um, half hour. And then these can sit and rest. And I can get this sauce ready to go. I need more people here to eat this. <laughs> well, Davey will be home tomorrow. That They can eat it tomorrow or Sunday. And look how good these turned out. They look like, it looks like a piece of chicken. But it's cauliflower. Probably tastes, tastes like chicken. <laughs> the spaghetti sauce is done, waiting for the spaghetti squash. And I've been eating these um, cauliflower things. They're really good. <laughs> Whoever thought cauliflower would be good. Tastes good. You could even dip these in ranch. Hey, Ambry is trying the cauliflower. Good. She actually likes it. You were kind of suspicious at first, huh? You thought cauliflower? Yeah. But they're really, actually, really good, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're waiting for the spaghetti squash still. You want to try the cauliflower? Do I have to pay you to tell it's delicious? <laughs> but she's actually doing this on her own <laughs> without me paying her. Okay, the spaghetti squash is done. Now what you do is you just start... Well, let's do this one. You just kind of... Looks like it's done. And it's just supposed to get your skeddies for you. And you get your individual slices of skeddy. And you can put butter and salt on it or do your sauce. And, and we're going to let Ambry decide how she wants hers. So this is our dinner for tonight. Our DIY. Ambry's, Ambry's saying she does not like skeddy squash, so let's see what happens. If you, how do you usually eat it? Just plain like with this. butter. Okay, so we're gonna. She like you like the sauce, right? You like this kind of sauce that I make. And it's got turkey burger in it. So she, so far she likes these. So we're gonna see if Ambry actually likes this. We're gonna give her a little, a little taste, and see what happens. This is Ambry's. We already know she likes the cauliflower. And we did this get a little bit of skeddy, what do you call it? Skeddy squash. She's gonna twist it, get some of that sauce in there. Do you want to cut it up a little bit or? She's going for it. She's going all in. Oh dear. Oh dear. Here it goes. She's going in. She hasn't spit it out yet. <laughs> That's good. It is. Yay. See, she doesn't. That is really good. Yeah. All right. True test. See if Frankie will eat it. Remember that ad? He won't eat. Hey, Mikey says he won't eat it. He ate everything. <laughs> hey, Frank, I'll let you play with my new luck if you eat it. This it's is like the slime. true test. True test. See if he'll eat it. Do you like it, Frank? Is it good? Yeah. 
That's my DIY for today. That made a really good meal. Ambry, right? She's making oobleck over there. Oh, put it in a balloon. <laughs> Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Remember, subscribing. Remember, my DIYs come out every Friday at 2. Thank you and good night. See you next week.